Does the name Osborne Tremaine mean anything to you? First, I want to thank everybody for watching this video, and uh, I also want to thank you for watching the channel. I've been working on this since about 2007, and I know this is unusual because you never see me. You just see the videos that I upload. But uh, recently, I've had a lot of comments that have been coming in via email, either through Facebook or YouTube, uh, some of them positive, some of them negative. Uh, a lot of them are negative because they don't like the name Osborne Tremaine being plastered over the uh, the video. And I completely appreciate why people don't like that. They want to see the commercial in its original form. But uh, I've worked very hard for a long time trying to put this channel together. And I've had a lot of instances where people take my uploads, download themselves, put them up on YouTube or other places and get clicks and get advertising revenue. So. I do this to prevent people from actually taking the work that I've done. Now, when I say the work that I've done, um, some of the people make comments. I'm going to read this one to you. It says, I know you can't, I know you can't steal other people's work on YouTube and post it. Uh, all videos you steal and post to YouTube are stolen. And I'm reporting you to remove your account. Don't claim the videos are your intellectual property and stop capitalized all letters. Putting your name across others' work, I'm communicating with YouTube right now. And the thing is this, is that commercials are not copyrighted in most cases. Most cases, it's public domain. Uh, what I do is I put my name, Osborne Tremaine, which is a trademark name, and it's registered. So that actually is my intellectual property. So uh, when I see somebody posting an Osborne Tremaine video, that's what I try to have removed. So that gets people agitated. So I thought today uh, I want to explain where the videos actually come from because I don't steal them. They actually come from a couple of different places, um, really three main sources. One, uh, and I have to read from notes because I don't do well from memory, um, marketing material from the car corporation, car companies, I should say. Um, you have dealer films, you have dealer film strips, and you have um, de dealer VHS as technology changed. And I'm going to show you some examples of those. Uh, you've got a second source is really old DVDs or VHS film that's been uh, released previously. Um, and then the third is actual TV commercials. Uh, they come in a film and they come in a box. And I'm just going to use this video to kind of explain where this stuff come from, uh, comes from. And uh, hopefully folks will understand how much work is involved in this because this doesn't just appear from somewhere. It doesn't, doesn't come from someplace. Somebody has to actually make the electronic version. So thank you again for watching. And uh, if you don't already follow, please follow. Thanks. This is a Dodge demo screen. This has been used by Dodge dealerships and also Chrysler Plymouth. You can see it's a projection system made by Kodak. Full screen. And one of these cartridges, Ram Charger versus Blazer and Bronco. And from those film there, that's been transferred. In this case, here is a DVD Dodge Monaco. So that's where the original film that I originally found in a dumpster in 1980 came from. And uh, we would have been selling cars like this at the Dodge dealership. Uh, it was Suburban Dodge, Sales Service and Satisfaction, the Super S. And I can see here, here's an old business card from uh, George Fitzgerald, our sales manager. But that's how I got started in the whole video and film collection with about 20 of these films right here from that screen. So dealer marketing material. Uh, back in the 60s and the 70s, actually even in back in the 50s, uh, there was film strip presentations. And uh, I have an entire collection of that stuff. This is uh, All American Motors. And that's roughly 150 films. And I haven't gotten any of, hardly any of them are uploaded yet. Uh, here's a, whoa, whoa. 
AMC Pacer. Oh, this is Spirit. Spirit. Buyer protection plan. All this stuff is good material. It's going to get uploaded on YouTube. More material here is VHS film. This is uh, was really introduced in the very uh, beginning of the 1980s and used up into the 1990s. And uh, you'd go into your dealership and they'd have a way to view it on a television monitor. Uh, here's a Saab film from like 1992 or 1993, the new 900 AMC. No, not AMC, Jeep Eagle. And uh, it was the Eagle Premier and the Eagle Summit. They also had film that was on uh, Laserdisc. Another way that I find commercials are uh, older compilations. Some of the film that's been put on DVD or it's been also put on uh, VHS uh, tends to be very low quality because you're getting a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. So faces look blurred, lines of cars look blurred. The color looks usually okay. But uh, another source that people don't think of or even realize are uh, sports films. These are DVDs of the World Series. 1973 and that was all sponsored by Chrysler Corporation so there must have probably been about 20 or 30 car commercials in those videos right there alone and I, I call that mining for commercials out of somebody else's video the purpose is for sports it's not related to automobiles and this is also again something that's not copyrighted so I use it this is where I get most of my material I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of film. And this comes from um, advertising agencies. It's all TV commercials. Um, you might recognize some of these from recent uploads. Here's one from the 1961 from the Plymouth. Whole slew of Datsun films, I think, here. Yep. And here we got some more American Motors Jeep products. But my film is uploaded in high definition. It's been re-colorized and re-enhanced to make the color better. Normally other videos that you see that have been uploaded of TV commercials are in really poor quality, very shaded, and, and don't look good at all, where mine are really crisp and clear. So that's why when people say I steal this stuff, it's like, it's, it's just not true. It's like, I, I actually buy this stuff. Each one of these films probably cost me about 10 to 20 bucks. And I literally have hundreds of them. But anyways, that's, uh, that's where the stuff comes from. All right, here. So I have no idea what's in here. We're going to open this up and see. Came in the mail. I bought it weeks ago. Don't remember where. We got film in here. Sunoco Frisbee. So this is a Sunoco oil commercial. And this is an Amico, an Amico commercial. I do know where I bought these. I remember them. So these are going to be uploads. You're, you're not going to see them for about three or four months. I have to take all of this film and box it all up, send it out to a converter. Uh, they send it back in electronic format, then I have to edit it, uh, then I upload it. And I upload it with the Osborne Tremaine name on there. So again, that's what a lot of people don't like. But if I don't put my name on there, then other people just simply copy the work and upload it uh, to their YouTube channel or to Facebook or, or somewhere else. So I hope you understand. Thanks. If you're mad enough, cougar, it's the meanest, most masculine road animal yet. Cougar, if you're mad enough.